Good evening Hackology and welcome to another episode. Tonight's episode carry on, on with our uh, AC rectification and our uh, last few circuits we've been looking at. And basically I've been playing about with different motors and I've got a um, motor out of a laser printer which happens to be three phase and um, it puts out quite quite a bit of power at low RPM and hopefully on the pictures and the video that I'm showing you um, you'll be able to see me spinning up the um, the motor, the alternator, generator, whatever you want to call it and uh, filling up this capacitor which is powering the LED and what's also happening is on this circuit, I've attached two diodes. Um, so yes, two diodes to either end of the bridge rectifier. So uh, electricity can only flow one way out, and the black one is the positive lead, and the green one is the negative lead. And uh, these go off into a battery pack to charge some batteries. Now I believe this works. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, whether I should have a resistor in line on the positive lead going to the battery pack, I believe I should because that would stop it um, supplying too much power to the batteries uh, but at the moment the fastest I can spin this um, and, and get voltage out of it is uh, 5 volts I haven't yet measured the ampage because, uh, it, because this isn't spinning at a consistent rate it's just like shorting the circuit out so you only get a really brief reading on the meter. Uh, in this battery pack are four AA batteries rechargeable and I've just made a hole in the side of the battery pack and put the cables onto the terminals. Easy. And wired the motor into our rectification circuit and the capacitors used to hold the charge that's generated by the motor and then the capacitor slowly discharges either into the load that we've got at this end which is the LED and the resistor uh, or also feeds the um, battery pack as well and charges these batteries and I believe it's working because I ran the battery pack yesterday with a small light on and dropped the voltage down to uh, below 4 volts, uh, sorry below 5 volts and um, I've been spinning this intermittently just to see what the charge would be on the battery pack and the uh, batteries seem to have come back up to 5.07 volts which is where they started yesterday, I think it's 5.8 where they started so maybe a little bit more charge and then we'll get back up to 5.8 um, That's been tonight's episode um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at charging batteries from your homemade generator and bridge rectifier um, I'm sure we'll be looking at these in some future episodes and going into more depth on the uh, charging side and uh, also looking at the, um, whether this is the correct circuit for charging batteries. Uh, the only way that I managed to find a decent charging circuit was by actually dismantling an um, AC plug in the wall charger. I should have some photos, I think I'll be able to show you those. Um, because Google wasn't very helpful and all the circuits that I'd seen seemed to be rather complex for um, a rather straightforward job. Um, there are charge controllers you can buy that dump load and, and check to see how much charge is in the battery but I thought considering this is just a small home project the, the quickest most straightforward route would be to use diodes. So lastly before we go uh, I'd like to um, I'd also like to tell you guys that Hackology has officially affiliated itself with the Medway Computer Engineering Society and that's based in Greenwich University London and this is a, um, the person who's, uh, who I've been speaking to is the person that runs the hacker space there um, so there are lots of interesting projects coming out of the university and lots of uh, 
really cool bits and bobs, so I, I'm hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get to feature some of those in the future. Uh, anyway, you've been watching Hackology. Have fun hacking. We'll see you soon.